Is a Sala, it's a size 11, it's in silver, and as you can see, it's a double. Then we put it into the vise, just level up the shank. That's fine. The thread I'm going to be using to tie the fly is a Uni 801 Fire Orange, but to finish the head off, I'm going to use this number 4 Glow Bright Floss, so really brighten it up. Now we start just Use this as a measure to start basically around about 3mm from the eye and this will give you like the area that you're looking to tie in your hackle. There's, two, there's a full hackle and then there's a false hackle. Obviously there's a four different colours in the wing but what I do is really basically put two of the colours on before the, fr the full hackle and you'll see that as I tie the fly. Now as I go down I'm going to tie in Tears for the tag, which is uh, this is it here. This is a uni uni floss in Chinese red, and the number fourteen or small oval silver tinsel. Just gonna catch them both in together and work my way down until the threads in line with the point or the points of the hook, and get your floss. Now I'm gonna do. Two turns, one, two, then bring the floss between the hooks and on, on top, catch this in, two or three turns, trim it, full into the body, and then I'm going to do the same with the oval tinsel, two, into the third turn, and my way around the bend obviously. Bring it round it and on the top like I did with the floss and then catch it in the full length of the that part of the, the tag and then two or three turns to catch it down. And then the way up I'm gonna tie in this save bulk. The tails are basically it's a double tail, which is gonna be a golden pheasant crest. And I've dyed this sunburst just to brighten it up. Tie that on top. Now you're looking tail length round about the length of the body of the shank. There we go, just check. Yep. Now what I've got here is this is a Chinese hen neck, Indian hen neck, any of the two does dyed teal blue. So I've taken one of the bigger feathers. And I'm just gonna use some of these fibers to highlight the tail in blue and that's going to be slightly less around about two thirds to halfway the length of the the crest let's tie it on top now I'm going to wax my thread at this point to make sure I've got plenty of grip now I'm going to trim away fibres at a slight angle which will help taper the the body a bit as I want it lower near the, the wing where I tie in the wing so that this helps to tie the wing slightly lower. And there we are. I'll let that do it. Now in the way back down, because we have to really be really silly certainly productive in the way we tie this fly to keep the bolt down. Now I'm gonna basically tie in a small silver wire. Just gonna tie it underneath. All the way down to in line with the tag, the red part. There you go. And then get yourself some silver tinsel, and this is a large. Or number 10 or number 12 would do, if it's a uni. And then you work your way up. So watch where you are. You basically want a straight turn right at the back to so I line up the, the body and then overlapping the turns as you go up form your body with the, the tinsel. Get to this point, just make sure you tie it down. 
Throw away the excess. Leave it all wax on my thread just to make sure it's nice and strong. Now with the wire, a straight turn at the back, which will protect the body. And then rub all the way up. Cross your thread, but then degree bend into the wire. And again, make sure you tie this down. Bend and break it away. Now to spread the materials and make it easier to tie this fly, and because there's four different colours in the wing, uh, basically what I'll do is I'll put the under wing on part of it too, with the colours. The two colours I'm going to be using is the Sunburst, or nice warm yellow, and red Arctic Runner. You can use what hair you have, you can even use Harco fibres if you want, and I have done that in very small flies. Now, you don't need a lot, just trim a few fibres from the patch, tidy the fluff from the bottom, just check the length of the hairs reasonably close. There we go. And then we tie this into basically the end of the blue. Just gonna put a couple of turns in there and just make sure it's sitting on the top. Make sure it's tied in a wee bit better. Now a wee bit of wax on the thread again. Always gives you grip. Then we're gonna get some of the red Arctic runner. And again, I'm going to line up the ends, just make sure they're close. And this time I'm going to make sure the rig goes to the end of the, the crest. So we're tapering the wing, pinching loop on the top. And then make sure it's tied in, nice and tight. Draw away the excess. Then, get yourself a blue hackle. Now these cut ends, I'm just going to leave them at the moment because I can get to them once I go up. Uh, I don't need to tidy all the way up because I'm going to tie this hackle in in this area here. And this will force me to keep neat and close. Now what I'm going to do is tie in this small hackle. You're looking at the fibre lengths to reach around about the tips and less. The points, sorry, the hook and less. Then we come in, draw back the tip. Offer the good side to the hook, and to myself, sorry. And then fold back the tip of the hackle. And then start to come down. And we can trim this away. And we're looking, well all we're going to get is a couple of turns and that's all we need. So there's one turn. Don't like the look of this wee guy. Just gonna try away, try away just now. It's much easier to do that. T tidy it up, and then another one. That's one into the second, up to the top. Follow it with the, the thread. Basically, a ninth degree bend into the stem will basically allow you to get the thread right into the stem and open out these fibers. Take I mean takes away a lot of the bulk. Trim this away. Anything that's going forward, just draw it back. Now we're going to tidy up this area. Put some wax on with thread. A good base of thread down with the wax will basically allow you to as well to get grip when you go to tie in your next material. And there we are. It puts a bit of blue into the wing as well. Now we've got false hackle. The false hackle is just a like natural guinea fill. This is a full feather here. Now I've been obviously tying, so you use the one side, which will allow you to tie one fly, and then the other for your next fly. Now what I do is just simply bring out the tips so that they line up, hold the tips, and then tear away the feather. And this will give you a nice fibre for tying in your hackle, or your false hackle. Turn, you can turn your hook upside down if you can. Hold it. Come in with a couple of 
turns. Just check, see how it's sitting. It's spread okay. If it's not spread, what you can do is come in with your nail. Just rub the fibre so that the basically fan fan out. Just check the length. Yeah, that's it. Sorted. Trim away the excess. Again, touch a wax on your thread. Once there's really plenty. Don't want to put too much wax on your thread as it will cause you issues sometimes, it just gets too thick. Then we're ready for the second part of the wing. Now we've got you can either use this is squirrel. Now this is it bleached and dyed blue. And this is the grey squirrel natural, which has the blue tips and slightly darker. It's up to you so you can use I've used either, both work. I'm going to use the one with the black tip so this will slightly darken the fly down. So take a few fibres out. It's fine. Trim away from the tail. Length. Basically up to yourself in length, depending on the style that you like and the rivers you fish. It can be towards just slightly by the, the, the end of the tail or on it. Or slightly by it. And I'm going to tie it by the tail. This is for the spay, and you can have it even longer than that if you want. And I like this lovely flowing fly, wing slightly longer than normal. Let me trim this. And again, it's important that you do put the wax on. It's going to tidy up this area, zigzagging the thread, meaning you can across like at an angle, and then across at an angle like this, and this will give you tons of grip. And then you can straighten up with the thumbs, holding down the, the hair. Now what I'm doing here is just put my finger on top, drawing the wing fibres towards the eye. And basically if you look here, you can see the crease. Now that will lower the wing for you, stop it sitting too high. I'll do that once it's in, once you start fishing it'll drop. But that just lets it finish for your eye anyway. And then, you can either use... This is Arctic Runner again, this is a natural, so like a ginger. Or you can sometimes you can add a bit of colour to it, a bit of yellow, a bit of orange. And in this case a slight amber colour. So I'm taking off a few fibres. Just going to line up the ends, take away these big guard hairs, you don't need them. But not in this size of fly. Now I want this to reach the tips, the end of the the crest. So it's tapering towards the eye. This will form the teardrop shape that you need in a fly that makes it swim really well. Again, a bit of wax. Nice and tight. And trim away. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tie in my jungle cock eyes, try and save a bit of space. Two small or very small jungle cock eyes, you've seen the underside. Now I want to tie on this black area, so what I do is hold the tips of the jungle cock and draw back the fibres. Just draw them back. And then, now you can individually put them on, or like I like to do is put them on together. Set them on the side of the wing. When I'm slightly up into the wing, just check. Now, I'm not that happy with them, they seem a wee bit big, just a check. You can always go back if you're not happy. Just pull them out a wee bit. No. They're too big for me. Just going to take them down, start again. If you're not happy, you're not fish to fly, it's important that you do tie a fly that you're going to be happy with. As you go fishing with the fly and down the river and you look at it and you go I don't like those eyes, I don't like the proportions of the fly so you're not fishing. So I've got another two eyes. I'm going to do the same again. Just draw back these fine fibres so to reveal the, the black part of the, the jungle cock. And just up into the wing. Come round, 
nice tight turns. That looks to me a tiny bit better, so I'm going to lift this eye slightly into the wing a wee bit. Check from the top, if you can look, you can move, keep, always keep the thread tight when you're doing this, just to check. Now that looks okay. Got a wax on my thread. Now, just take your time, making sure you get tiny's in. Now I'm going to fold these back, which can cause you issues like, now, these wee fine fibres and so, but, I'm going to, this is going to be covered up. This is going to, I'm going to be using the glow, the glow bright floss. Just make sure it's tight. You can come up with tons of thread wider than normal so that you can catch in the fibres. Just see how it's sitting. Keeping the thread tight and break away or cut away these ends. You could wait to the end before you do this, but I'm doing it just now. Wax on my thread. Always keeping the thread nice and tight. And trim away your thread. And get to our, this is number four glow bright floss as I said. Now what I'm going to do is just run the wax, a clean wax, you can't use a dirty wax when you're doing this. Just through, and I mean in a dirty wax, I mean if you use a piece for a wee while it starts to get pick up colour and dirt. This is a fresh piece. I'm just going to tie it, start at the head, beginning of the head, work my way up, just before the top, trim away the waist, do that turn to tidy that up, and then a couple of turns or so, finish off. Make sure it's nice and tight. Any excess wax you can just clean it with the finger. Just check the jungle cock eye. Sometimes you have wee fibres going over it, so I'm just going to take them out. More so when you fold back. And there we are. And then make a good head. This is what I like to do. Come round with super glue first. This is easy brush from Loctite super glue all the way around just making sure it's nice and nice coat on there it's a wee hair there so what I'm doing is I'm just the back of my nail just flattening it basically gluing it to the side of the head out of the way now I'm going to speed up the drying process a wee bit so I'm just going to Hold my wing. This will dry the wing really well. Or dry the head, sorry. Burn your fingers though. This is what I do for speed. So when you're tying a lot of flies, I can get a second coat on. Now this is dry, completely dry. And then I can coat super glue with varnish. You've got to do that. Reason being is that Super glue is the activator is moisture, so you have to seal it. Even though it's dry, it will still go slightly off colour. But it will not do that if you varnish it. And you can see the, I mean, that head is shiny, really shiny. Nice proportions. I mean, that, that's there's a lot happening there, but it's working the materials. And you, you seen me going back. You seen me adding smaller jungle cock. I wasn't happy with this, the, the original choice. And these are things that make a really good fly. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And that's the hair wing version, or one of the versions of the Silver Doctor. <laughs>